Hey, I'm Dusty, friends call me Moose. I'm the dude behind CameraTips.com. And in this video, I wanna show you how to set up custom buttons on the Sony A6000. Now, one of the big selling points of this camera is the ability to go in and customize a lot of the buttons that are on the camera to whatever you'd like. Features or functions that are kind of buried into the menu, you can make them easily accessible by assigning them to a button. Now, on the camera itself, there's actually two custom function buttons that come uh, on the body itself. We have the C1 button on top of the camera, and we have a C2 button on the back of the camera. C1 is pulling up my focus mode, and right out of the box, Sony assigns this C2 button to a guide. Well, I wanna go ahead and change that to focus area. That way, on top of the camera, I can set my focus mode, and on the back of the camera, I can set my focus area and really have some control over autofocus. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. On the back of the camera, go ahead and hit the menu button, and we're gonna navigate over to the second tab, the sixth page, and we'll come down here to custom key settings. Now here you'll see over on the left are a bunch of the buttons that are on the camera that you can customize. In this case, I'm gonna customize the uh, custom button two. So I'm gonna come in here in the secondary menu and I'm gonna come up to focus area. All right, so now with that set up, if I wanna change again my focus mode, I can come up here, press C1, and I can say, okay, let's go to continuous. And then now I can press the C2 button on the back of the camera and I can change my focus area, which is my focus points. And I might come down here to flexible spot and point it at my subject and bam, I've got the autofocus set up the way that I'd like. Now, if you're still trying to figure this camera out, maybe you're unsure of which settings to use, I actually just released a set of really simple cheat sheets for the Sony A6000 that show you the exact settings I use for really common scenarios like portraits, sports, landscapes and more. You can kind of think of them like recipes. I show you with shooting mode, the exposure settings like aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. I also go over the autofocus modes that I use depending on the subject or scene. So if you want to check those out, I'll put a link down in the description below. Until next time, thanks for watching. Catch you later.